So if you're in the market for a baby monitor, whether you have a bundle of joy of your own on the way or if you're shopping for somebody else, you wanna make sure you get the best. I mean, I know that personally. I have a little girl on the way in a few weeks and a very popular option these days is a video baby monitor. For my wife and I, it wasn't even a question. That's what we were gonna get. So to figure out which one were the best, we went online, we checked out all the most popular models, we talked to real parents, saw what people were actually using. In the end, we actually narrowed it down to seven models. We got those in. We did a bunch of testing over a couple different weeks and then we set it on these three as the best baby monitors you can buy right now. So after all that testing, the best one, in our opinion, is the Samsung Brightview 3043W. Uh, you can find it online for about $230, although sometimes it drops to around $200. And the reason why we think it's worth it is it's got the best quality screen and the best quality camera. Now, like most of the baby monitors, it streams video from the camera wirelessly straight to this parent unit here. And this will give you live audio, live video. Also, it had the best range. In my apartment, we got three stories. Even with the camera on the third floor, I was able to get good, crisp video, no dropping off in the basement, which is unbelievable, better than anything else that we tested. And best of all, you can just tap the power button, the screen will go to sleep, but you can still hear what's going on in baby's room. And then if you need to see something real quick, you just tap the button, wakes right back up. If you like what's going on with the Samsung, but you want to save a little bit of money, the DXR8 is our backup, slightly cheaper pick. It runs about 170, so it's still not super affordable, but what you're getting is a really high quality monitor and a high quality camera. Not quite as good as the Samsung, but good enough that you can see what's going on. And it even has some things the Samsung doesn't have, like a temperature sensor. So if your nursery is a little bit drafty or you're worried about getting too hot, that'll let you keep an eye on the temperature as well as sort of just what's going on in the room. So the one thing all the baby monitors have in common is they come with these parent units. That's how they work. They stream the video straight to that, which is great because you're not relying on a home network or anything like that. But if you have a strong Wi-Fi network and you're a little more tech savvy, we do recommend the Nest Cam. Now, you'll notice this doesn't have a parent unit. That's because what it does, it streams video over the internet to a smartphone, a tablet, a laptop, and you know, the video is much higher quality than what you get with the baby monitors. So it's good for checking in occasionally. Now it does have motion and sound alerts, but it doesn't really do live audio streaming. You can run the live feed and see the video, but you really have to leave your phone on to do that. So you have to have your phone on all night long. It's not a great option for that. But if you're sort of looking for just a general purpose camera to occasionally check in, it's a great alternative. So these are just our favorite models. Uh, we actually checked out, like I said, seven, and we spent weeks putting these through their paces and checking out to make sure that we got the best, because quite frankly, I wanna make sure I get the best. So if you wanna see a little more detail on these models and then the other ones that we checked out, make sure to check out our best baby monitor guide on review.com.